What's up guys, welcome back to Classic Octane. I am Taylor. Today we are mounting up our custom tough side seat. So if you haven't watched the previous videos on this bike, uh, we made a wooden mold uh, to fit this frame exactly. So it kind of uh, bends in here a little bit to go under the gas tank. And then of course we put our custom frame hoop on the back. So we made a inch and a half thick wooden mold, send it off to the guys at uh, Tough Side Seats. And this is what they made us. So this is an exact match for that mold that we sent them. Uh, they also put in the little bend on the frame, so like where it kind of bows down in the middle there. So they built that right into the seat. They added a little bit of additional foam on the front to help take up some of this space. And then they uh, obviously made it match those little bends in the frame where it starts to suck in a little bit more. The factory um, kind of off the shelf brat seats they sell are perfectly straight, so they match for like a CB550, like I've used them on a bunch of in the past, but this frame is a little bit different, which is why we had to go custom. So we place this on here, and it's not going to sit all the way down yet because we haven't removed those uh, battery mounts, so we're going to have to lower our battery just to get it out of the way. But this will give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So as you can see, it's designed to match up with that frame rail exactly. Turns in perfectly, goes all the way up to our tank, fills in that space nicely. So I am really, really happy with how that turned out. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna make up the mounts. Uh, first things first is I have to get the battery out of the way. I'm just gonna unbolt it um, and remove, I guess, the mount itself so that it can lower down and then we can figure out uh, where we're gonna put our cross braces in. I had the tough side do what they normally do and put in threaded holes. These are uh, 5 16 18 threads, I believe. Um, so that this is how the seat's actually going to mount, is using those four holes. And I had them place them, so one's going to be right about here, we'll put a bar across. The other is going to be right behind where this battery goes, it's going to fall right here. So we're going to have four mounts. I wanted the mount to be, one, accessible from underneath, and then two, uh, at the lowest point of the seat, so we can make sure that part stays kind of sucked down and we don't have any gaps underneath. So our little battery, battery tray is loose now, so I'm just going to... Lower her down out of the way. Doesn't really matter where right now, um, just because we are going to kind of reconfigure that. What I'm thinking about doing is turning the battery 90 degrees, so it's going to go more, you know, along the line of the bike itself, and then probably cut these brackets off, and then maybe weld uh, kind of a separate bracket, something else off of these same mounting points, um, but just a little bit lower, and then of course 90 degrees. And we're still going to have plenty of clearance for our air filters, for our rear tire, any future. Um, you know, rear fender or anything, it's going to be plenty of room in here. So now you can see underneath the seat how much room we have. Right next to those little silver rivets are where our threaded holes are. So you can see that I, all I need to do really is make a mark with a sharpie, uh, basically where those holes line up with the existing frame. And then I'm just going to be running a, you know, thick flat bar right across that will then screw holes in uh, to mount these seats up. So it should be super simple. Uh, especially because all of this is now open under here. So just gonna make a Sharpie mark, we'll pull it off, and then we will uh, start to cut and weld in our flat bars. This is a bar stock I'm using. It is probably, I would say a quarter inch thick. Um, so it's very, very stout, especially over this short of a span. So basically all I'm gonna do is put this across here, mark where I wanna cut it. And the idea here is we wanna weld it in to where it's basically flush with the top. We don't want it sticking up on the top like this. Uh, we want it to be nice and flush, that way we're not interfering with uh, the nice kind of clean fit for the seat itself. So, it doesn't get much simpler than this. It's gonna cut these two out. This front one, uh, the cuts are gonna be have to be at a little bit of an angle, uh, but nothing crazy. So we'll cut these out, then we'll grind the paint off and get ready to uh, tack weld them in. Got my two bars made up. You can see I have them sitting flush with the top of the frame like we mentioned so we don't uh, intrude into the bottom of the seat. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the MIG welder and give us nice four zaps across here and then we will move on to the next step which is going to be drilling the holes in these uh, to match up with the holes in the seat. Went ahead and got my holes drilled. Um, I've shown this process a few times. There's really two different ways you can do it. There's probably more than that, but 
Um, you can either drill the holes first, then put your seat on here, and then you need to like weld it while it's bolted to the seat, or what I like to do because I don't want to risk burning the bottom of my seat, is weld in the tabs like I obviously did, and then put in little studs like this into the threads itself. And then I put just a little dab of grease on the end of the thread and then touch it down and uh, they leave a mark exactly where the hole needs to be and then drill them out. And you can kind of slightly oversize these holes a little bit too. Um, since you're gonna be tightening it down, you know, it won't really move all that much if it's tight. Um, so that's how I drilled my holes. Now let's go ahead and mount the seat up and you can see what it looks like actually on the back. So to mount the seat itself, I've done this uh, kind of differently in the past where I've put in the uh, stud and then I do a wing nut underneath. And the main reason I've done that is because I sometimes build battery boxes and I need to be able to get to the electronics. You know, say something happens to the electronics of the bike when I'm out riding, I don't want to have to have a wrench to get access to my electronics. For this bike, the electronics are going to live underneath the seat. Um, probably not in a box at all. I guess kind of that's to be determined. But for right now, I'm just going to bolt it traditionally through those holes and into the uh, kind of threaded inserts in the bottom of the seat itself. Well, there she is. It fits really, really nicely, which I mean, I would hope it would if we made a, a mold for everything. So you see it just sits right on the top of the frame rail, very even all the way across. So this is a prototype seat. And why I say prototype is because I am actually going to start offering this exact seat uh, exclusively on my site. So you won't be able to get a KZ750 tough side seat anywhere else, uh, not even on their website. Worked out a deal with them to have it just on classicoctane.com. So those of you who have uh, kind of reached out to me asking, you know, where you know, to order one and, and all that, you can actually just go directly to my site. On the next version, I am gonna have him add a little bit more foam on the front here so it kind of matches. Uh, he added uh, some extra foam, but I, when it was upholstered, it kind of pulled it down tight. Uh, so the next version will go up just slightly more to kind of take up a little bit of this gap here. But everything else I'm really, really happy with. Um, the fit, the way it bends to the frame, I mean, everything else I think looks great. I think the length is good because it does go all the way. I mean, you can't even be, get your finger in there. So taking up that gap would be just about perfect. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Uh, I was really excited about getting this seat in, getting it mounted. It's a huge relief that it fits as well as it does. Um, so again, these are gonna be available on my site. So if you have a KZ750 and you want a seat just like this one, uh, classicoctane.com, they'll be fulfilled by Toughside. They're a pretty quick turnaround time, uh, reasonably priced for the quality you get. Um, so make sure to uh, go check them out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, we have tons of new content coming on this bike and a bunch of other projects coming up in the very near future. Um, I'll see you guys soon.